Hey everyone, Sir Term here again. And we're gonna continue with some Opio Sits Moria gameplay. The list is up here on the screen. We have a video uh, linked in the description below where we did a deck breakdown about a month ago if you're new to this deck. Uh, but yeah, the list again, pretty straightforward. I re I'm really liking how Moria feels and I think a lot of players are finding out that finding that out as well. So again, it's gonna be one of the most popular decks that you're gonna see in every regional and every treasure cup over the next two, three months. So today we're gonna to have three games, one against a Sakasuki player, another very common matchup that you're gonna run into, similar to the Karakuri from yesterday. Uh, we have one game against Queen, and then we also have the Mirror, which you're also gonna run into the Mirror a lot. So let's see how we navigate these matchups here, and if we can come up ahead compared to yesterday, we kind of just lost those games against Karakuri. So hope you enjoy the games. Again, if you do, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy. In this match, we're going against Sakasuki. And you know, I actually like to go first in this matchup because of Perona. So now we can attack and play Perona right away. Um, yeah, we're going to keep this. My question here is, do I play the Sindria? Do I play the Sindri out just to fill our discard? I think so. I think let's go like this. So now we have a lot of targets here. We'll play Perona next turn. We'll be able to toss a card from their hand because the opponent usually wants to play brand new. It's, it's weird to go, it's weird to let the Sakasuki play a go second, but I think that's actually better for the Mora to for the Mora player to go first. Just because this Perona being able to trash a card from their hand, he adds up. You might not think that it does, but he adds up a lot. Um, it's so good. This Perona is so good. So let's see how this goes. Put in trash a Borsalino. Yeah. So here we can go one. We can attack. Use the car action. Trash Perona. Play Perona. Have the opponent trash another card. And they also have to give me a 2k or take the life. And if they kill Perona anytime, I can continue trashing the cards from their hand. So they have to trash a card first. They didn't even see what we got into a discard. So they trash the Burgo. I think they actually meant to counter with the Burgo. Yeah, I think they meant to counter with the Burgo and just forgot about Perona. Or maybe they actually didn't mean to. Maybe that's the best card they had to trash. Now, if they bottom deck this, is more annoying. Next thing, we have five down. If they bottom deck this with a hand blaze, then that is kind of more annoying. Because I won't be able to, like, get value, right? I think we take it. The opponent still needs to have one more card, so they need to have, like, a great eruption into hand blaze. Ooh. Okay, well, I guess it didn't kill it, so it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, they didn't kill it, so I guess it doesn't matter. We can play Absalon and just KO the Tashigi, but that's three down. Which I don't know that it's worth it. We can just attack for six, six. I guess maybe it is worth it. Because I feel like I, I, I feel like anything else in my hand, like I don't want to play. Right? So maybe we go like this. We go six. Force the opponent to give me a 2k or the block and a 1k. Then we go 7. Just play the Absalon. Trash the third Absalon from my hand. Play another Absalon. Got it. We don't have Moira though, so that's a little bit concerning. When we Once we get to... Yeah, let's just go like this. Yeah, not having Moira is a little bit of a problem. Uh... Why is it not letting me go back? Oh, shoot. Did I glitch this out? I glitched this out. Oh, no. By checking my discard, I glitched it out. No. Ah. Ah. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, all right. That was that was weird. That was weird. That was very weird. Um. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, yeah, I was I was trying to let the opponent know that I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Yeah, so we go Absalom here. Opponent takes that life, doesn't even bother blocking. We have no way to deal with the Borsalino, right? Because he cannot die. So that is a little bit concerning. I want you to kill this Perona. I want to play this Perona again so badly. The more cards that we discard from their hand, the better it's going to be for us towards the late game. We still haven't found those Moiras. So there's a chance one of them is probably in my life. Opponent can go ahead and play their Lucy combo and kill both. And they're still going to have this Borsalino getting value. But every time I'm hitting them for seven. Uh, we can also play Sabo. See if we draw that Moira first. Ooh, they're playing Marine for. Okay. Bottom deck in the Absalom doesn't matter, by the way, because we have two more. Bottom deck in the Perona would have been a lot more impactful. Opponent still has five cards, so unless they play... and But they only have three down, right? So all they can play here is Tashigi or Brandy, which still keeps them at five cards. Which, again, makes it so that the Perona can actually kill them. If they go for my life, yeah, so we'll just let this die. And again, our goal here is to just continue reducing this, their hand size. Yeah, we're just going to continue reducing their hand size while getting them down on, low, on life. We even get another Perona on top of that. So we can go six... Wait, okay, we can only play one Perona. I guess we can go... Playing Rebecca here doesn't matter. We can play our own Borsalino. We can play our own Borsalino. Hmm. Yeah, we can play our own Borsalino. I guess that ends up being fine. Because I cannot play Sabo here. Question is, do we go for their Borsalino or do we go for their life? I have to, uh... I guess let's go like this. Honestly, let's go live. We'll trash this. We'll play Perona. If the opponent takes this hit, they go back to five. Which lets me play a second Perona. So they have to counter here. Okay. So see what just happened there? Now we just go like this, and the opponent just loses another card. That's cool. It lets the Borsalino stay alive, but the opponent's losing so many cards. It's still a problem, though, that we don't have uh, Moira, because the opponent's going to play their Moira here. They don't have Lushi, though. So what they're going to be hitting is going to be like Kusan. So they don't have Lushi. They're down to one life. They don't have a lot of cards. So... Yeah, the best hit here is going to be Kusan or Borsalino, I guess, to just hide behind blockers. We have 2k counters. No more rest yet. They go for... Hmm. We have 9 down. We could go Rebecca plus Sabo. Or we could just play Sabo. So I think I'm going to give them this Borsalino. Just not take this life. Opponent has to be playing more right here. But again, they don't have Lushi. So they cannot even KO my stuff. By the way, Tashiki actually makes them go back to 5. So if we had a way to... If we had a way to trash this, this Perona, it would be like hilarious. It's still nothing, huh? Still nothing. Can we... Can we kill this Moira. Can we kill this Moira? Suru is minus two. That goes down to six. Rebecca Hina. So Rebecca Hina. And then Absalom. We can definitely we can definitely get rid of it. We can definitely get rid of this Moira. Right? So we'll go like this. So two, and then four from Hina. That gets him down to uh, two cars. Yeah, so we go here. We'll go here. We'll grab the Hina. We'll play this Hina. We'll override this Sindri, I guess. Give this minus four. And then we can attack. I guess we'll attack for six. Um... Because we need, we need six. I guess we'll attack for six twice. Is it better to attack six twice or is it better to attack seven? I think it's better to attack six twice. So we'll go six here. What are we trashing here? I kind of want to keep this Sabo. 
I think I want to keep the saddle. Um, so I think I'm going to trash the Sindri. And we'll override this Suru, I guess. Uh, we'll send this back. We'll send Sindri back. KO this guy. And this, another Sitsuke that's going to push another 2k counter or other block. They took the life. They're hiding behind their blockers, right? The problem is that, again, they don't have Lushi. Next set, I think we just go for Lethal, right? Now the opponent says zero life. We can just go for Lethal. Opponent has to kill my whole board here. They cannot have, They cannot kill Perona, by the way, because I, I just, I'll literally trash their hand again. I always think it's worth it against Sakasuki to just continue messing up their hand. Yeah, I'm going to actually give you the Rebecca blocker. I'm going to force him to have to do more stuff. I'm going to force him to have to rest their Borsalinos if they want to clear my board. I know they could have Lucy here. Yeah, this guy, these guys are annoying just because we can't KO them with Absalom, right? Also doesn't help again that we didn't get Mora. If we had Mora and we had this big 9k body, I guess the point had Ice Age, so they were ready for the Mora. They've seen one Moira, so they probably have another one in their hand. How many 2Ks have we seen? One, two, three 2Ks? We've seen three 2Ks, so it's not a lot of 2Ks that we have seen. So the opponent could definitely have more 2Ks. I didn't notice what they grabbed with, with the uh, with the Tashigi a couple turns ago. Oh, it was the Ice Age. So that's the Ice Age that they used trash. So they grabbed the Ice Age with Tashigi. They have to bottom the Corona. Again, if you put her on the... You have enough cards that are definitely trash it. You have to bottom deck this. So this has to be a hand blaze. Or Amma and Amma, I guess, and bottom deck both. Yep, there you go. So you have to bottom deck them both. Has seven... They tapped out of five cards. So at this point, obviously, playing Piranha doesn't matter. They are going to get rid of my whole board then, right? And just keep a blocker. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So they can get rid of my whole board and keep themselves a blocker so that they don't die. Yeah, so they keep themselves a blocker so that they don't die. They have to give me another blocker here. Um, we have the Moira now. So we can always go hog back here to get that Moira back to my hand. And just attack the opponent for... I guess I'll attack them for eight. I want to have this Sabo, so I'll attack them for 8, so we can go 8, right? I think this is still going to force the opponent to give me, uh, yeah, we'll go Hogback. I'm not scared of the Suru, right? So I think we go Hogback, we use the car action, we'll return this, and I guess we'll return one of the Rebecca's. And what are we grabbing though? Are we grabbing Absalom or are we grabbing Mora? I think I'm gonna grab the Mora. I'm gonna grab the Mora just to kind of set up in case that the opponent actually wants to stall out. And we'll trash one of the Moras and trash one of the Sindri's. We have three attackers and my attackers cannot be KO'd. So the only way for the opponent to deal with my attackers is continuing to have another Ama, Ama Nomu Karumo. So they played already two of those. They have one hand, they have played two hand blades and two armas, right? So the opponent shouldn't have a way to bottom deck these cards. If the opponent does manage to recover their board, then I think we can just play Mora and just stall out, because we can go Mora into Borsalino. So we can go Mora into Borsalino. If the opponent plays their own Mora, then obviously they can only bottom deck one of these two guys, right? Because they can play Mora and have two Dawn for um, Hound Blaze. So they will need to have a Hound Blaze. They get a second blocker though, so that ends up working out. So yeah, so if they go here and then they go Hound Blaze, they can actually put pressure. Yep. We have two attackers. So the opponent has to give me blockers with both. Hmm. I, 
have to I have to play I have to play my defensive stuff. We go, we'll get one blocker with with uh, Borsalino. We'll get one blocker with Borsalino. Is it ever better to go Rebecca instead of Borsalino? Because the opponent will have to spend a lot of cards to get rid of the Rebecca anyways, and not scare the Rebecca dying. The Rebecca gives me a 2k, which can probably be more useful than playing the Borsalino. So we can go Mora into Rebecca, get the 2k, and then I guess we'll play a brand new from the Mora. So we'll attack for 6. This is going to force him to give me the blocker or the car. Are they actually, if they have a 2k, okay, they have a 2k, right? So, this is still going to force him to give me, yeah, I, I think we just go like this. This is going to force him to give me one blocker. So, opponent has one, two, three, four attacks. We just go more right here. Uh, we'll play Rebecca. And we'll play Branu, I guess, right? So, the idea here is that we'll play Branu first. And we'll grab this Borsalino. And then from here, we want to grab another 1k. Oh, we don't, we don't have the silver in the discard, right? So that makes sense. And then we just finish. And now we have two life, a blocker, and one, two, three, four, five cards that are counters. Opponent has a hard time removing this Rebecca. They will have to find... Yeah, the only way that they get rid of this Rebecca will have to be like... They have to find a, a great eruption, right? So they will have to find a great eruption into... They have to find a great eruption and draw into a Lushi or a Handblaze, the fourth Handblaze, or something like that. If because and, and if they do that, they're still paying like three down at the very minimum, right? Because Gary Eruption. I guess they could have found another Rebecca. If they found Rebecca, they could have gone Rebecca. But again, the idea is that even if, if they found Rebecca and went for Lushi to get rid of my Rebecca, they're using so much done that they didn't have enough done for the attacks to follow up. Right? So the next turn, opponent might have two blockers, but we know that we can get rid of the Rebecca by just going Suru into Absalon, and then we just attack. So the opponent will have to go Rebecca into like Sabo, and then they'll have the Sabo in their in their discard. So yeah, so by developing this into Rebecca blocker, opponent had no chance. And I really do think that this game came about because of how much value we got from Perona just completely destroying the opponent's hand. It just got rid of so many options that the opponent could have while also putting pressure into the opponent. And that's how, that's how you kind of, that's how you want to navigate this matchup in, against a good player. So GG's. In this match, we're going against Queen. I kind of want to go second, but that means I let them play the Sanji right away on turn nine. I think I want to go second. I think I want to just get my Mora and just have all these Moras on the field to be able to get rid of their big bodies, right? So we'll go second. Opponent goes to seven down. We'll be at eight. We'll play Mora. Opponent goes nine. We'll play another Mora and do our stuff. We'll go here. Uh, we'll grab the Borsalino because we have no choice. Next thing we can do the Perona, trash a card from their hand. And it might not matter a lot, but this is probably going to be our only chance to actually get this Perona value. So we can attack for seven, get the get a card out of their hand. Because it's not, this is the only time we're going to get Perona value, because after that, the opponent is going to be able to just do whatever, right? Uh, yeah, so we'll go Perona, right? So we'll go like this. Attack for seven. Just car action. Send the Perona. We'll go like this. Force him to trash a car. So they have to trash a car, and they're going to also give me the blocker because they saw the Absalon sitting here all pretty. Uh, Grey Eruption gets it down to minus... Oh, I, I guess we can just go double Grey Eruption and get rid of the Ed Strike. So double Grey Eruption, get rid of the Ed Strike. I guess, honestly, do I want to do that though? Or do I want to keep these Grey Eruptions for their big bodies? Do we want to continue trashing cards from their hand? Is this worth it? Probably not, right? Because I feel like I can use this to just remove their units later. So we can go double gray eruption, attack for seven again, and just get rid of their stuff here. 
Yeah, we'll go like this. Okay, now we also have the Hina. I guess, yeah, we'll attack for seven. We have to attack for seven first. We'll trash another Absalon. Send the two Grey Eruptions back and KO that. Gordon has to start taking this, this attack. We'll go for five. Okay. Gordon gave me a 2k there. So they're trying to get their hand size low, low right? So here, we don't have... We don't have Helmepo. We don't have Helmepo. So do we actually play Mora? Yeah, we don't have Helmepo. Okay, that Ice Age is huge. We can play the Mora right here. But it's not really getting me any value. Right? What is what is this doing for us? What if we just go Grey Eruption and just play the Absalom? We'll keep the Ice Age. It's going to be minus 5. But the units have 9 costs. So we can go Ice Age, Suru, and that gets anything down to 2 costs. And then we have the Lushi. I like this. So Grey Eruption, right? We can play four for Borsalino if we want to. We can also just go Hina. We don't have to go Great Eruption. We can just go Hina here. Hina, seven, six, five. I might like this better. I might like this better. Six. I guess we can go six three times, to be honest. Probably better. Yeah, I might, I might like this better. We'll trash the Borsalino. We'll play this Absalon, use the car action. We'll trash, uh, return this, return this, KO this guy. Just have so many units on the field that the opponent has to deal with this. Okay. They gave me a 2k earlier, so maybe we just go 5 and then 5. Okay. I can still go 5 here. And then next that we have enough for Ice Age and Grey Eruption. If we need to be able to play like a Lushi. Yeah, so they go for Sanji into Yamato. So they get the Yamato value. They have this attack into brand new. So which one are we killing here? I guess it doesn't matter, right? So Ice Age. We can keep one down. We can keep one down. We can go Ice Age. Suru. And I guess Absalom or Lushi. I kind of like playing the Lushi just because I feel like I feel like we just play Lushi. I feel like we just play Lushi. Yeah, I feel like we just play Lushi here. So, and we play that Suru. So that leaves me again with one down left. So we go five. And we're just going to go because the Lushi is a 6k unit. So it's going to be more impactful for next turn. Opponent having a second Yamato is going to be annoying. So we'll have one down. Opponent gave me two cards there. We'll have one down to play with. So we're going to have one 6k attack here. Which one are we sending back to the grave? Wait. Can I just win then? Opponent just took the life. Wait a second. I just have Lito. One has four cards, no blockers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I don't need to do anything. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. They took that life. They took that life when they had a way to counter out of it. Did they just tunnel vision so much? On did they just forget that I had ten down active? Because they could have gone one k here, right? Because these are the last cards that they got from their life. They could have gone one k here to save one. I, I guess this was a, yeah. Because I went five, five, five. Yeah, they could have gone one k. They could have gone here for another 3k. Yeah, they just forgot. They just forgot that I could just go for a 15k attack. So it's just so much pressure though. We build the board so much quicker than what the poor queen player could do. But I definitely would have just gone Gekko Mora and just been able... And we still have four life, by the way, right? Gekko Mora, being able to play this Lushi and go ahead and get the Suru, right? So Ice Age, 
plus the Suru gets any one of their units to two cost, and then we go play Lushi and KO it. That way we keep the Absalom in the discard in case that we need an Absalom to bring back with the Mora. Because we can always bring back the Absalom with, with, with Moria. We can now bring back the Lushi. So, GG's. In this match, we're going against the Mirror. So, opponent chooses to go second. We have a good hand, right? I think we have a good hand here. We had the Perona. We can just straight up play. Okay, opponent got the Cinder. That's pretty nice for them. What if we just play Perona right now? What if we just play Perona right now? We'll go like this. So we'll trash the Perona. We'll play the Perona and have the opponent trash a card from their hand. And start forcing them to go down in card value. They can do the same thing, right? And just force me to trash a card. Yep. <laughs> um... I guess I can just give them this Absalon. So. We can start putting pressure here, right? We go one, two. That still leaves me with two more down to be able to do this. But then we need to be able to get this down to minus two to actually be able to have the Absalon come down. So I guess we'll go like this first, right? And then we'll go for seven. I guess let's go five first, and then we'll go seven to the Perona. We'll trash one of these brand news, maybe. Yeah, we'll trash one of these brand news. The problem is the the cards that I have in my board are pretty like the cards that I have in my disc are pretty good, but we have another brand new anyways. The opponent's gonna have to take that seven. So the opponent can play a second Perona and discard my hand, but I don't think Perona is going to get them where they need to be, right? They they have to probably play this Absalom. Yeah, they have to play this Absalom. Perona doesn't really get them where they need to be. They're going to just kill this Perona, which means that they're not attacking into my life. If they don't kill the Perona, then we still have another unit to attack into them, not sir. Yeah, they have to attack the Perona here. Cool. So we can go Perona again and just play this guy here. I think I like the Perona again. I think I like the Perona one more time. Uh, we'll trash this Helmepo, setting ourselves up for setting ourselves up for uh, the Moria to come down next turn with the Helmepo on the field. We'll have exactly four cards, right? Yeah, opponent had to give me... Okay, opponent trashed the Borsalino and gave me the Perona. So we'll play ahead and go here. So now, we are, now we're chilling, right? The opponent's going to go there. We're going to give them a brand new. We can also just block. We can also just block and say that the opponent's going to play their Gekka more right here, right? So here we just give them a 1k because they probably want to play like, obviously like Perona or something. So now they can now play Perona. Yeah, they, they couldn't really get a lot of value here. I, I feel like it would have been better to play just... It would have been better for them to actually play the... Uh, the Hogback, no? Am I missing something? So here... We can go... Gekamora... Lushi... Helmepo... Helmepo goes minus 3... The other option is that we can go Rebecca, Hina, but then we don't have anything to actually kill their stuff, right? So doing the discount doesn't matter. So I think it is just going to be Mora. Uh, I guess we can go Suru. That gets it down to two. Helmepo gets it down to... So six. No, that's only going to be three. We needed one more discount. We needed one more discount even with the Helmepo for that to have worked. The other option is that we can go minus four, minus two. And just play our Absalom. No, I think it's just going to be like this. I think it's just going to be like this. The question is, do we go Lushi? Or do we go Absalom? I guess we go Lushi and KO two other units here. Sure. We gave Absalom and we can KO the brand new. Or Helmepo. 
probably better to actually KO their... Do they have another Hell Map on the, this guy? They really have another Hell Map, right? They really have another Hell Map, so I guess it doesn't really matter what we do. Um, we can KO their brand new, but I think it's better for us to just put pressure into their life. So I think we go like this. I think it's better to stop putting pressure. What is that two life? This is going to force a 2k out of them. Okay. We're going to go like this. Uh, we're going to play Lushi. And we're going to play Helmapo. We're going to trigger Helmapo first. Give this minus three. Then we're going to go Lushi. Uh, we'll send back brand new. And one Rebecca. And one hog back, and we're gonna KO here and here. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and attack with this as well. Just force another card out of their hand. At this point, opponent has one life, and I have four. So you have to play a blocker here, right? You have to play a blocker here, and we still have access to this stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this. Because the opponent cannot kill it if they play a second Mora. They're going to play Mora here. Kill my Mora. But now we still have two attackers. And the opponent has one life. They have to play a blocker. They have to play a blocker. I think we just win, right? We have 10 down. Opponent has 5 cards. 1 life. They kill the Mora. What am I missing here? Is it, don't we just win here? Don't we just win here, right? We can go seven, nine, nine. Yeah, like we just go like this. We just go nine first. And then we can go 12. Opponent has five cards, gonna have six. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, do you have the last one, K? Okay. The crazy thing is that even if they have the 1k, we still don't lose next turn. One, two, we have four life, right? So even if they had the 1k there, the opponent will have gone down to zero cards, and I still don't lose because the opponent only has one, two, three, four attacks. I guess they could go and 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 done up this guys, but we still have three cards in our hand, and we would have been able to get a couple of 1ks. I think it was worth the risk and forcing to actually have it. Um, I like always attacking for nine here. Force the opponent to have to take that first life and just go in all in on Mora. Opponent almost had it, all right? They could have had another 2k here. If they had another 2k instead of the two 1ks and then had a 1k, it could have been okay. But I still don't see that I lose, right? I guess they go 9-9. Nine, nine. They have 10 down, so they can go 9 twice, right? They can go 9 twice. They can go another 9 here. That gets me down to 1. Another 9 here. The problem is that they have to be attacking for 9s to be sure that I don't have the counters. Obviously, I lose to just 7k attacks. So we will have lost just because our hand was bad, but I think it was fine to take the risk. The other option was to play Armora out, but then I feel like opponent could potentially allow themselves to stall back. So the two times that Perona hit actually ended up being a lot of value for us. So GG's. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games. I really liked how that went, right? I feel like I feel pretty good with this matchup into Sakasuki. You want to go first, even though he's making the Sakasuki play your second, and just punish them with these Peronas. Punish them with these Peronas, right? You saw how much value we got from Perona just trashing stuff on their hand, making it so that their hand size is really small, and we just kept pushing into them over and over again. It was still very close at the end, but I feel like you definitely win this through Perona, just giving you all that value. And of course, whoever gets the more Gekko Mores also get them. The queen matchup also pretty straightforward, right? We were just able to kind of kind of put a lot of pressure on them. We just go too we go too wide too fast for these queen players to do anything. And we're able to get rid of their blockers with Absalon, which lets us develop a board. And yeah, it, it's just it's just rough. It's just rough for them as well. And then the last matchup in the mirror, I think it's obviously again just just this pressure game and however many Gekko Mores you can put in the field. Very similar to the matchup against Sakasuki, but you don't have to worry about your Peronas getting bottom deck, which also helps out a lot. So, hope you enjoyed the games today. If you do, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. We have one more Moria game, a video coming out tomorrow, so hope you stick around to watch that.
enjoy your day